G'day guys, welcome to another episode of Barra Basics. In this one, I just want to show you a simple and quick way for fishing my favourite soft plastic at the moment, the Molex Shab 140, the rod and reel that I use. Alright guys, so I'm at Lake Awonga and at the moment I'm set up on a weedy point and it's a little bit different to how I normally fish it. There's not a solid weed edge on this point. It's actually tapered weed, so it runs, the towers run a fair way out. So what I've done is instead of running my two split rings on the bottom, I'm now just running one so that I suck that treble right up hard against the body. And I've done away with the tail treble. And if you've watched the last Barra Basics on the Molex Shad, you understand why I've done away with that tail treble. So the rod itself is the Amped Swim Bait. It's a C781 Extra Heavy. So I don't know if I've talked about this rod before, but I really love this rod for slinging these Molex Shads around. So the reel is the Quantum Smoke HD. It's my workhorse, and I've loaded that up with Sunline Sigline in the 40 pound of PE8. I never go any less than 40 pound Toss and Barra. For the leader, I'm running the Sunline in the FC100, and because they choke these things, I wouldn't go any less than 60 pound. So that's 60 pound leader, that's the Sunline FC100, and I always attach this lure with a loop. Just so it's nice and free, swims around. So for the purpose of this video, I basically only talk about how and where I'm fishing right now. It's pointless me sort of explaining a different edge when it's not really going to work. So what I'm trying to do is I maintain tension on my line. As soon as that little hits the water, reel's engaged and I start winding. Because where I've landed, it's probably only about two foot above the weed towers where this lure lands. And I want to keep it just by pausing the talk, then I got it hung up. So I'm fishing a tapered point, which means obviously the weed is tapered rather than a direct tower or, or a sharp edge. So it's important when you cast to edges like this, you maintain your line pretty tight. As soon as the lure hits the water, click your reel into gear, start that retrieve. So the start of my retrieve is going to be pretty quick just to keep that lure above the weed line. And then as I sort of feel that I'm coming out, I can back it off a little bit just till you hit another bit of weed and then speed it back up and just creep it along. And once you know you're sort of out past that weed line, you can really then start to slow yourself down then. It might take five or six casts to sort of get an understanding of, of the speeds you need to do in that retrieve. But this enables me to fish for active fish that are right up in those towers all the way at the back, as well as those ones that are just like sort of loitering around the outside edge of those towers. And I've literally, it's a two ounce lure. I just fished that in less than two foot of water. I've got no weed on the lure. And I can, I can easily and effectively cover probably about 30 meters of weed line there. Well guys, I hope you're enjoying the Barra Basics series of videos. And I hope these, each of these little tips help you catch more Barra. I'm off to try and catch myself another one right now. See you on the water. Well guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you want to find out what I'm up to on a day-to-day -day basis, just jump on any one of my other social media pages. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm constantly putting up a couple of videos a week now to keep you guys entertained. Otherwise, this has been Dean Sylvester, fishing my way.